Okay, I just posted this reply to this um, this person's issue with the uh, with the Git assignment, and that is that uh, Git is asking for an SSH key that it can't find. So I gave this link here to uh, as a place to look at. Well, that's it right there too. So this shows, this talks about how to generate the uh, the public key that you need and so on. So let me just show you just quickly about this. You basically got to run this command here, right there. And uh, so you just go anywhere actually, you just open up git bash, any, any place, it doesn't matter where you are. And you're going to run that command, it's, um, what is it? SSH key gen minus O. Oops. And uh, then you basically fill it out. Just hit enter on all of these. I wouldn't change any uh, any of the settings. I, I have uh, that that kind of messes things up a bit. But I'm going to kill this because I've already done this. I don't want to do it again. And what happens is, I'm going to go to my home directory. This is the home directory. If I do ls minus a, you'll see in here, well, that doesn't work. Too many files to look at. Inside my home directory is an SSH, a .ssh folder. And in there, the, uh, the keys get generated. Or the key. Well, yeah, the, this is the private key and this is the public key. You'll see the file has an extension. And we can look at that file. And uh, there it is. This is the contents of the file. I just cat is a way to dump the contents of a text file or any file. So if I just copy that, that's the public key. That's the uh, base 64 representation of the public key. And then you go into your, your GitHub account like this here's my github account that's my you'll have your your github id there and then just go into settings and down to uh ssh here and you can have any number of computers that can access um, your github account so i have two computers set up here it's an old macbook and this lenovo laptop i'm using right now and these are SSH keys that I pasted in there that I use to connect to GitHub. But maybe I have a third computer, say, and then I've, so I'm going to add a new SSH key here. And uh, so I give it a title, say, uh, you know, my new, my, my other computer. I was testing this. And then the key just gets pasted in there. Go ahead and add it and so on. And once you add it, then it's then you won't have that issue anymore. So that's pretty much it. And uh, just maybe one last thing I could say is um, where this thing is located. I show you in this interface, uh, you know, where it is. It's uh, this folder is here. And if you want to look at it through this file explorer, then uh, let's see how I can do that. This is this PC. I'm going to do right click. That won't work. Maybe just um, I'll go to the desk. Oh, no, I'll just go right in here. And this is the C drive users CSUSB. That's my username CSUSB. And then uh, this is the folder dot SSH. So Windows doesn't treat that folder as uh, hidden, like a Unix system would. Any folder that starts with a dot is treated as hidden in, in a Unix system, but in Windows it's not considered um, hidden. So anyway, go in here and there it is. There's the file. You can also open it, uh, open that as well. Yeah, I don't know how to, let's see, open with. Uh, la la la, open with, say, um, notepad. There we go. And just copy this whole thing right there. Another way to do it. 
Okay, I think that's enough. <laughs>